Hey there, John Loomer here from johnloomer.com and John Loomer Digital on Facebook. Facebook's updated the campaign structure, advertising campaign structure, to make it better for you, easier to organize your efforts, and uh, it's actually much cleaner and really helpful. So let me step you through that before, at the end, providing an example of a campaign that I've created from start to finish. Okay, but let's, uh, let's start from the beginning. First of all, at the top within Power Editor, which I recommend you use, click on Campaigns at the top left, and then click Create Campaign. So we're going to name it. Uh, we'll just do a, a test uh, clicks to website campaign. I like to make sure that I include some detail uh, in there in terms of what the objective is. We're going to leave it at auction, which you should use most of the time. My objective is clicks to website. Now, typically within the title, then I would also want to say, you know, what exactly it is um, I'm promoting. So I'm just going to say for, for the sake of it, just so it's clear what it is I'm trying to get clicks to website for. So now that it's been created, I want to make sure I click not uploaded. Select my campaign on the left. Okay, so we're still within campaigns. Again, make sure the name is correct. Auction. So it's all we're all set. We're all good to go here with the campaign itself. Note that you no longer have to start set the start end date or budget or anything within campaign. That's all done now in the next set step. So click on add sets. Again, making sure that that campaign is selected on the left. Nothing's going to appear here. So click create ad set. Uh, we're going to name it now. Ad sets are created so that you can separate uh, your advertising based on your target audience. Okay, so I'm going to create, okay, so again, I, I make sure to name the ad set something so that when I see it later, I know what it is. So sure, we're gonna leave it at daily $10, but just know that each ad set can have a different budget, different start end date. Um, okay, so we've got that, but let's just for the heck of it, create another ad set. Make sure you select it down there. Let me do clicks to website. Now this is up to you if you put the want to put this all within the title. You're gonna it's gonna show what the campaign name as well is here. Um, it's just easier for me, I guess. Let's just for the fun of it set that one at five dollars. All right, so now let's go to ads, and um, we're gonna just click create ad. Again, making sure that campaign was selected on the left. Now, as soon as I type in, in here, it's going to allow me to um, select my campaign and select my ad set. So once I selected my campaign, it only pulled ad sets from that campaign. So I'm going to do the one for fans. Click create. Okay, so I'm not going to go through the whole ad creation process here, but I made sure that the, the name of my ad was, again, very descriptive. Um, test clicks to website, image, sizes, infographic, fans only. Um, this is where you can create some variations based on, I don't know, placement if you want. I mean, that, that's actually broken down within the ad reports. Or copy, imagery, ad type, that's that kind of thing within the ad set, okay? Um, let me now show you an example of a campaign I've created with a bunch of different ad sets and ads in it. Okay, so I created one that's called Page Light Campaign, New Campaign Structure, just to let me know what the heck it is. Of course, with the Page Likes Objective. That's my ultimate goal, goal for all the ads within this campaign is to get page likes. So as you can see here, I created 13 different ad sets, all with the objective of getting page likes. They all had ads within them to get page likes, but they're, they're created for different audiences. Nine of them were created with uh, different website custom audiences based on duration. So this website custom audience one day. So it's targeted at people who visit my website within the last one day. And I crafted my copy accordingly, saying, hey, you visit my website today. I also created some. Now, I don't, I don't uh, use interest targeting or look like audiences anymore ever since uh, the launch website custom audiences, but I decided to create these as part of a test anyway. Um, so those are in there as well. Um, but notice also, so these all fall within the same campaign. All the same start end date, although I could change that if I wanted. But I do have different budgets because I did notice quickly that the one day page like campaign, for example, uh, ads 
ad did best. So I have a $15 budget on those, $2 on most of these other ones, uh, $5 on a couple of others as well. So that's kind of the beauty of these ad sets is you can set your own budget start end date. I could go in and, and uh, pause and restart if I wanted as well within each of the ad sets. Okay, so that's it. For more on this, make sure you check out my blog post at johnloomer.com slash structure. Make sure you also like my page on Facebook at John Loomer Digital. Thanks.